Good morning, everyone. So those really peaceful mornings have suddenly been disturbed by construction. We have a boat show coming up soon here in the neighbourhood and there's all sorts of stuff going on. There's hammers, there's chainsaws, there's like floating houses just floating on by in the morning. It's, it's really strange. Um, but yeah, this is life at the moment. We've been able to stay living on board. We didn't get in too much trouble. Uh, the insurance papers came through. But we're still waiting on a few other little things like the rego before we can actually go. So. In the meantime, this has been my local hangout spot. This is the beach. I come for a run in the morning uh, and then I come back, have a shower and I go find a bunch of cafes that are just down here and I get to work. So Riley and I have been separating uh, to try and accomplish a few things that we can't seem to do when we're out at sea. So we're making the most of land life, I suppose. This is what I do every day. I walk to the office and go and see Machu and we talk about boat stuff. I've got some appointments this afternoon on board where I get to learn the different systems and safety functions and all the different things about the new boat, the electrical systems. I'm really, really glad that this beach is right here. It's just been, it's been uh, good for the soul. Also, all these little beach bars have been popping up. Getting me really excited for summer in Europe. You are on hydraulic, okay? So you have pump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> About the level, the oil level of the pump. Yeah. You can check it, but with the rod in, okay? Not yet. All right. No cool. question. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, fine. Uh, one question: Did you succeed to download the um, uh, Windows partition? No. No. No, I haven't done that yet. Okay. I wrote, I wrote that on my hand, mm -hmm. and I had win window and it rubbed off and I was like, window? What do I have to do with the window? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, but we uh, anyway we can do it later and show you how to use uh, with a uh, Windows yeah. partition. Yeah. It's not a problem. Uh, you have your two lithium batteries. Yeah. Okay. We're in the bilge. In the bilge. You have a um, different valve. You have red valve oui. and blue valve. You see, it's blue. Yep. It's for the red houses, for hot water, and blue for cold water. Yep. And then we had this three-day crash course with a guy named JP, who's an absolute gun sailor. He taught us how to dock and sail our cat from scratch, which is really cool. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep, all good. So we mentioned this in the boat tour, but I'll just touch on it again. Uh, what we've decided is that Elena will be the full-time helmswoman with regards to docking. That's a bit different to most 90% of the people that I see docking in marinas and stuff like that, but it's good because the guy can use brute strength, whereas the girl can use finesse. So you're playing to your strengths, I think, and it's good to, regardless of that, to change your roles Mm. every now and then anyway because yeah. every, then everyone learns everything yeah and every now and then you do have to swap roles and it's good to fully master the other person's jobs mm. maybe even be better at it sometimes do a role play <laughs> <laughs> we got to the fuel station <laughs> this is scary stuff so operating this catamaran is a lot different to the mono hull um, i've been told by a few other sailors on cats that once i've mastered how to work the two engines it'll be like easier than It'll be much easier for sure. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that time, but at the moment we're having to learn like the new laws of the boat and it's just whoa, 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 it's been... The laws. There's a constitution in there next to the manual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so not laws, but sort of like the ways of the boat. Um, but luckily we had some really calm weather and I was able to practice docking over and over. Um, you know, just going in and, and coming back out. And... It was good fun. You've nailed it. I've nailed it, but that's with no wind. So let's see how we go in 30 knot winds in a harbour. Yeah. It's gonna be a uh, dum 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 on the old hardy. Did we do okay, JP? We're alive. 
<laughs> Day one complete. Day two with JP was pretty much about Elena and I being able to handle the boat by ourselves. If the cows could look up, we'd let them sail. A good part was when we were jibing with the Code D. It's quite easy because it is in light winds, but a different thing for us to sort of get our head around. Yeah, you've actually got to manhandle the thing. Like, you've got to grab the front of it and pull it around the jib. It's like, it's yeah. so different to anything we've done. We used to have that sock and it was like... Yeah. And now we've got to actually walk it like a dog. We got mail. We've got a whole bunch of different presents. There is a book that someone has sent us quite kindly, so I'll make my way through that. What book is it? It is Illusions with a J. Oh no, just Illusions with a funny N. There's a couple of lures. I have uh, been rifling around in this box, Elena, I've got to be honest. Is there any presents for me? No, there's not. <laughs> there's the. Um, medical kit that I was telling you about, the Medice, which I hunted down because it's got a glue so that you don't have to stitch yourself up when you're out at sea. If you have a like significant injury with a knife, particularly whilst you're fishing or something like that, rather than stitching yourself up, which would be an absolute nightmare, you pour the glue in the cut and you can get away with it. That sounds very weird. Can I look at the manual? Can. I'm sure it's vegan. <laughs> There's some more um, books and stuff that the guy has sent us on a CD. It says it's FDA approved. What's that mean? FDA approved. Don't know. No idea. Okay. That might be an American thing. Tape for taping up pipes that are, have exploded. So that's that's a great present actually. Hey guys, so it's day three of our sailing lessons with JP and this morning he has let us leave the, the marina by ourselves and we've hoisted the main and head sail and we just hoisted the code D so we're both feeling really confident and yeah, it's, a, it's been a really good morning and the weather is super nice. We've only got like 10 knots of wind but it's perfect for learning and you know we've been drilling him with questions and it's just, I cannot imagine getting a boat like this and not having someone like JP around. It's just been fabulous. So, yes, these are the conditions this morning. Yeah, thank you. Lots of boats out. Look at that cloud. That's cool. On day three, we felt like we sort of gained a bit of confidence in ourselves and in the boat. Um, so that all together it was just so awesome and it just got us so much more excited to leave um, but yeah we're still here um, we've been making the most of the beach next door going for runs trying to eat healthy and, and just... it sucks because we've got to go back to Australia for dad's 60th pretty soon yeah so we we're really looking forward to going for a sail before then but yeah so we've got to zip away to Australia again soon guys mm. Mm. what are you up to Ross? I'm just going for a sail with Dave. He's pulled up over here with a trimaran. He took it from Switzerland down to here via truck, sailed over to join up with us or to catch up with us for the boat launch party where we didn't get to hang out with him too much, but he's kindly offered to take me for a sail. So I'm gonna go bomb around on his trimaran for the day. I'm pretty interested. I wanna ask him a lot about it. I'll push you off.
Okay, mate, what's your name? Uh, I'm Daniel. The boat is called Mustang and um, it's one of the first generation trimorans. It's like the first uh, in Siri produced trimaran in the world. It goes very fast, it's a very old design, but uh, you can reach up to 40 knots. I wanted to start uh, my, my adventure here in this region and then I heard about uh, your party and it was at the same time so I decided uh, I will join you guys in your party. Oh cool mate, well thanks for coming down. What inspired you to buy a boat? Three years ago I had back problems, I always had pain in my back and I had to do a surgery and then I somehow realized uh, life is short and you never know what comes, maybe you have pain, you have problems, you, you're getting sick. So I think it's a good moment to, it's good to, to follow your dreams when you're young and not, not to put everything on the list for later. I couldn't so agree I just, more. Uh, decided to buy a boat and then uh, I saw this boat. And, and uh, what are your plans? You're thinking about taking it from southern France over to Spain, which isn't <laughs> a long way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to convince you to cross the Atlantic, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I see. I prefer to, to find out first a little bit more about the boat and how it behaves Yeah. in strong winds and waves. Not like today. Yeah. No, that's that's... Good thinking. Much wiser than I am. <laughs> it's a Sunday and I've just seen like countless people walking along these rocks and going fishing and throwing their little crab nets in and you know there was the girl doing gymnastics on the rocks. <laughs> um, but yeah it's good. It's a nice view. And Riley has just returned from his little sail. How'd you go? Alright. Yeah, it was awesome fun. And that's a, just a tiny little boat. <laughs> just trying to go around places with it. <laughs> like a legend. I just love it so much. It was good. I was actually, um, I could show him a few things. How to hoist the mainsail quicker and what rope to pull first and whatnot. Well, that's so that, good. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. But, and he's very, very cautious like I was when I first got my boat. Okay. I'm like, do you want to... Do you want to leave the head sail out to sail into the marina? He's like, no. Mm. Yeah, fair <laughs> she, enough. Should we? He's like, oh, I'm thinking about taking a reef. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh, geez, the, the big waves here. Because he sails on lakes in yeah, Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, these aren't even waves. <laughs> yeah, no, it was really good fun. Cool. Yeah.
that is Dark Child by Marlon Williams and if you haven't already done so please download Marlon Williams' album. He is um, he's incredible. I absolutely love him. He's a wizard, Riley says. Um, and with that I'm going to call out a patron's name. So get excited, drum roll. It's a terrible drum roll. Alright. We have a Kobe Roberts. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much for the support. I really hope you can make it on board. And so does Riles. Yep. Got a shower. That would be good. I did. I've just Sorry, I've been uh, absent. You've yeah. been in the shower with wine. That is classy. <laughs> We're clearly very bored on this boat at the moment. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you to everyone for watching. Congratulations, Kobe Roberts with a B. Kobe Roberts. Cheerio for now, everyone. See ya.